Hey everybody, check it out. Here is my little rotary with a tumbler. And while I'm sitting outside, why am I doing that? Well, I wanted to show off something new. Geeks at Large Hybrid 2. The all rotary machine. So, you'll also notice it has a pro module up on top. So, pro compatibility is ready to rock. Um, right now, this is already set for its adjustment uh, for its focus over here, but we've got Z adjustment on the module thanks to the clamping system from Alive Pixels. The entire gantry in the back also moves up and down as needed to give you extra room if you need it. And it's all integrated with a Devil One. Now this is proof of concept edition, so it's not looking as pretty as Devil One's production version, which will come next month but let me show you my little trick here so yeah I'm out here doing my thing you know there's no no USB connection none at all but if you're doing a lot of tumblers do you really want to have it connected up to your PC constantly when you're just going to do the same thing over and over and over well I made a test in Lightburn and then export the G code, put it on the SD card, and we're going to go ahead and engrave directly from the SD card. Now you notice he's moving fairly quick um, because we're running on a linear rail up here at the top. There isn't a whole lot of motion, not a lot of speed in any other direction so we can run quite a bit faster than we normally would. Uh, my little RA1 down here, yeah he's missing his back half, but it is an RA1, the equivalent to the rollers of an RA2. Um, we have an all metal frame making up hybrid one, uh, making it easy for you to line up your rotary with the laser, um, as well as do any other sorts of add-ons or adjustments that you want to do. and. As you can see now, offline engraving. There's no PC, there's no control, it's all been stored and sent to the job. So literally I can just keep running this job, popping in a new tumbler every time the job finishes and say go, over and over and over. It's a lot smaller than a D1. So we're talking 350 to 400 millimeters worth of space so it'll actually sit inside the engraving area of a D1 and use maybe one quarter of the bed. That's it. So if you need something a little larger, you can get that. If you wanted to do little add-ons to its metal frame, you can put those you know, right in the channels using the standard things, front and back, and you'll be ready to set. So, hope you found this rather interesting, and thanks for watching.